In this video, we'll see how to use different data types, which is int, float, and cad. So as we say in the earlier video or previous videos, how to, what is different data types and uh, how to declare a variable, but we have not taken any, any example for float and cad. So in this video, we'll take an example for float and cad. So when you talk about int, so int basically takes two bytes from your memory. Float takes around four bytes. So int is 2 and float is 4 and we have char which takes 1 byte. So we also have double, we have long but we don't use those uh, those data type you know very casually. So we have this 3 which we which we use in a normal normal basis. So how to use this variable? So when you talk about int, so we, are, we have already seen lots of uh, examples on int variables right. So we have to specify int i equal to 5. But when you talk about float, so we have to mention a float here and we need to use f equal to let's say to assign a float value we have to assign a real value which is 5.5 .5, okay or anything you can want you can say 5.6 so we can specify float values here now you'll be wondering why we why we have this name float why not some you know some name with a meaning example when you talk about char it makes sense right char is character int so it makes it is integer what about float uh, so basically when you talk about CPU, so in CPU whenever you represent a point values, so it is it, it, it is represented with the help of uh, floating point representation. So that's a concept using which you can represent decimal values in your uh, CPU. So since we have floating point representation, we use, uh, short for that, we use float as a uh, data type here. Okay. Uh, when you talk about char, so we have to use char and we'll say C. Again, you can take any variable name. Uh, and when you assign a character, let's say I want to assign a character which is y. Since y is a character literal, we have to use a single quote to represent character. So for a collection of characters which is called a string, we have to use double quotes. For single character, we have to use single quote. Okay, that's how you define variable. Uh, that's how you create different, uh, different, dif different data types variable. Now in order to print this variable, so let's say I want to print int value. So we have to use print f. And in double quotes, you have to mention person D. Now person D re represents print F. We'll give a slash and just to print on a new line. Uh, so when, we'll print this and we'll come to a new line and we'll say I. So it will print the value of I, which is five, right? So let me run this. And you can see we got an output, which is five. But what about the next variable? So we have to say print F. So for float, we cannot use person D now. For float, we have to use person F. And again, we can use slash in for new line and then we'll print F. Let's run this. Let's just to see the output. You can see we are getting 5.6 and we are also getting some extra zeros because uh, we have four bytes, right? So it will try to occupy all the memory it has. And then we'll be using uh, again a double quote. Now for character, we have to use percent %c. Cool. And then we have to say C here. If you run this code, you'll be getting 5, 5.6 and Y. Cool. So that's how we have to use different data type and variables. But hold on. What, what happens if I assign a value 5 to F? Will it work? Since float or F is of type float, which means it can have point values. What if I don't specify a point value? Just specify the number. Will it work? Let's run this. And here we go, we are, it's working. But you're getting some extra zeros since we have float value. Now what happens if I assign 5.5 here? Okay, 5.5 is a float value and we are trying to assign it to int. Will it work? So you can see, let's, let's run this. Oh, so we are getting 5 there. Now why 5? It's because int will only support the integer or the first value. It will only support 5, it will not take the decimal part so this point will be discarded here okay so what we are going for is implicit conversions so whenever you assign a float value to int it will cut the first or the last part it will it will take only the first part so if i say 9.5 and if i run this you can see we are getting 9 so we are losing this value which is 5 which is 0.5 simple what next now let's say instead of assigning a character value to c let's assign a, a number 
So will it work? Will a number will support here? Let's run this. If you run this, you're getting output as A. Now why A? Maybe hexadecimal value. Let's try something else. Let's say 91 and run. We got a square bracket. What about 90? We are getting Z. So if you compare 90, 90 minus 65 is 26. That means from 90 from 65 which is A, 90 which is Z. So in between if you say 66 it should be B, right? Oh, so that means when you will try to assign a number to character value it will print the character of that number. Because every character on your keyboard will have a unique value and that value is called as ASCII value. So ASCII basically stands for it is American Standard Code for, for what? For information interchange. So this is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. That is your ASCII. Okay, so when you, when you assign a value, just expand this. So when you assign a value here, uh, 66 to character, it will take the ASCII value, which is, uh, so 66 will act as an ASCII value for B. And that's why it is printing B. Again, we'll discuss more about ASCII value in the next video, how to print all the ASCII values. So that's how you have to use, uh, you have to use this different data types with variables. So that's it. Thanks for watching.